Hello everybody, welcome back. Siri Tech here. Today I have the Beta 65 Pro. Um, this is a 65 millimeter micro brushless quadcopter. So in the box to start you guys get the quadcopter. Um, they give you some velcro for your battery, extra rubber bands, and the prop guard kits. These are all carbon fiber. Um, I'm not going to use the prop guards personally, but there's a ton of little pieces in here. So yeah, if you guys are interested, I can throw this together, put it together and show you how to put it on the frame, but I personally don't really care to have prop guards. Um, along with that, you get a 400 milliamp hour uh, 2S LiPo battery. These, this is rated at 35C. Um, you've got a balance port and a JST. <clears throat> this has a F3 uh, flight controller. It's 16 by 16 millimeters. And in the stack, you get a 6 amp 4 in 1 ESC. Uh, the original camera I broke, so um, I, I have footage I crashed pretty amazingly on the Maiden, but uh, it was just me getting full of myself and showing off. So um, the camera that comes with it is the Beta FPV H01. That's a 25 milliwatt all in one BTX camera. Uh, the receiver that comes with this one that I got is the FR Sky um, XM. This is the micro receiver. You'll notice here in the bottom, you've got your. Let's see if I can get that to focus. On the bottom right, bottom right there is your bind button. So you go ahead and you press and hold that when you connect the battery. Um, and like with my QX7, you just set it to uh, D16 and go ahead and bind and I mean it was quick and easy. Beta flight configuration was also really easy. Um, I'm running stock PIDs and everything. I haven't done any tuning or anything to this yet. Um, let's see what else. Uh, it's rated for 3 minutes and 30 seconds flight time with the prop guards and it says about 5 minutes without. Um, I've flown it, I've, I've gotten about 5 minutes I would say on average. Um, let's see. Yeah, this thing's fast. Punch out's nice. Um, handles really well. Um, I've flown it in Acro and uh, Horizon. I mean, it feels nice. It's quick. It's agile. Um, yeah, I can't complain. I like it a lot so far. One thing I would change, and I may be changing, is uh, this it's amazing how small they make these things, but of course the smaller they make it and the smaller they make the components, but you still really start pressing for room. I don't know if you can see this. Let me get in there. So there's no real room between the camera and the props. And with this just sitting in there and being held by a rubber band, if you're not careful after crash to check every time, you're going to start nicking stuff with these props. But to solve that, I actually have an 83 millimeter frame by Beta FPV that I think I'm going to swap things out to. And this is going to give me enough breathing room. You can see that'll, you know, extend me out the additional 18 millimeters. So look forward to a video for that. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, the way it flies right now is amazing. That's just one of my concerns. But I've noticed in a lot of builds, I've seen people cut it really close. And it looks like they get to fly fine all the time. I mean, I'm sure they'll run into an issue here and there, but, you know, for the most part, they seem to be, you know, functioning as they should. So, uh, I think that's all for the specs on this. I'm going to actually cut away to a little bit of flight footage. You'll get to see the crash where I break the camera and me just kind of zip it around and testing things out. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and share. That's always greatly appreciated. Um, anytime I get new followers and they get involved within the community, it, you know, it makes me really happy because I love seeing people fly and having a good time with it. So, uh, you know, as always, fly safe and fly often, and uh, have a good one. Stay tuned for the flight footage coming up, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think. This is a Ryan Little production.